Okay, here we are. We are going to finalize the uh, FK of the hand in this video. I think this is the fourth one, session three. And uh, I got cut off on that last one, but basically uh, I'm going to do this to the couple other fingers. So uh, we're basically we're just setting the controls and we're constraining, parenting this to the joints. Just make this a little bit easier. I'm going to uh, go up the display, animation, joint size. Let's turn this down a little bit. There we go. How about that? That ought to be easier. Okay, so again, same thing. Um, like I said, that video cut me off, so there was a little bit of a shortcut here. So I selected the the handle control. Make sure that you got the control selected. Whoops, not that one. Down here, the control. So I'm mid left middle finger A control. And shift select that bone, and then we're basically we're parent constraining each one of these control shapes to its associated bone. So now I'm gonna select this one, shift select this, and basically instead of going constrain parent, I can just tap the G key now at this point. So and make sure you see it down here when it you know pops up. So select this one and this one and G. And they're gonna see it's gonna parent down here, or yeah, parent constrain. So then you can always test to make sure. So if I select this one and select hierarchy, and we go to rotate, we're all good. All right. So I'm going to continue to do that to these two bones, and I'll just go ahead and do it really quick. Shift select. Oh, the G didn't work that time because I must have done something else. So here we go. Constrain parent. Now I'm going to select this one. Shift select this bone. Now my G key is going to work. Shift, shift, select this one. G, and this guy, and this guy. G, this guy. Now I'm selecting, then uh, so selecting, and then shift selecting. G, selecting, then shift selecting. G. I just found this is a little bit faster. Instead of if you do every finger and then you parent constrain and then you try and duplicate over it, you have to unparent constrain before you can reconstrain. If that makes sense. G. G. And I'm constraining. G. Okay. So now we're all parent constrained and we've got these all pink or purple or whatever. They're all constrained. Uh, we select the wrist and we move this guy, and everything's constrained. Okay, so lastly, um, oh, well, that was pretty quick. Um, but to set up this IK, now, I this control is really just a visual for me to work with right now, um, controlling these flags. I am going to do some stuff with an SDK uh, controls on this. So I do not want this shape controlling these any longer so I know that sounds a little bit confusing but I was just using it for a visual so let me go into the hypergraph and sh I'm basically I want to use these nodes so I don't want to do anything to these nodes so but I can just move let's see these are all parented into that control so if I move this control off um Delete that. Don't want to do that. Uh, boy, I'm gonna have to do every single one. Well, I thought it was a good idea at the time to have this visual control. Um, but we're gonna. I'm gonna have to move every single one of these off. And to do that, you just middle mouse click over. And let's just make sure. Okay, so this is my control. And there it is here in the outliner too, and it's now it's pulled off from all these. So I'm gonna delete that one. And I now have all of my fingers in there. I want them I want them re uh parented to the pel to the uh pelvis. Not to the pelvis bone, to the uh um palm joint. So when I um when this the wrist controls the bones and I want the bones to control these fingers. So I'm going to go back into the hypergraph. I know it's a little bit confusing. It's probably a little bit more headache than it was worth. And I'm going to take uh, the SDK. Well, this would just be. I'm going to undo all those. I'm going to take this control, and I'm going to delete it. That's just easier. Okay. So 
Oh, sorry. Yeah. Anyway. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I have nothing selected. I'm just going to build a new one. So Control G is going to do an empty null set down here. Okay. So I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to name this. Uh, we're on the left hand. So so left uh, fingers, I guess. Again, I don't capitalize anything. Left fingers. Control C T R L. Uh, okay, so now I'm not. I don't need to group. Uh, well, I'm gonna, yeah. I don't need to do a whole lot with that because it's basically just going to be a host for all these finger controls. But I am going to. I want it up here, so I'm gonna shift select and bring it up into here. I'm gonna parent, zero it out, and then unparent. Okay, so it's still gonna take the position of my palm joint. Left fingers control. All right. So now what I can do is I have my. Can I? Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna move. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna leave these. So, um, I have all five of my fingers, and I want these underneath. So I'm gonna open these up. Make sure that I only have the top offset nodes. All right, which looks like I do. Ah. Okay, I got all the top offset nodes, and I just I'm gonna have that empty node set that I had. I'm gonna have them control it. So I'm just gonna middle mouse button drag these over to the control. Okay, so now let's look in the hypergraph again. There we go. All right, so that's what I want because I don't need a shape node here. Uh, let's see if I can shrink this down a little bit. Boy, I had plenty of time until I try and do some. Okay, so again, I have this one controlling. Now all I need to do is I'm going to have the the bone, I want the uh, palm bone to be um, parented to the, the fingers offset. So I'm going to select the offset first and then select the bone and I'm going to hit P for parent. Okay, so I'm parenting that in. So now when I move my wrist, it's going to take all of it. So same thing, I know that was... Yeah, I selected. The, I made this little uh, shape out there to be able to visualize stuff. So anyway, that ended up kind of shooting me in the toe there. Uh, select hierarchy. So just gonna check on the stuff. Yep, all working. I'm getting a little Z buffer flash, but anyway. All right, let's check this time here. I'm gonna pause it. Well, no, we're fine. Uh, I got seven minutes. So all right, so this is all set up. I wanted to just uh, show you this on the hypergraph and make sure everything makes sense. Um okay, I left I lost my control, so I oh, I parented the control under um let me pause. I think I wanna Okay, yeah, uh boy. Apologize. So I'm gonna undo I don't wanna parent that, I wanna parent constraint because if I parent it you see it's parented now up all the way up under the, the bones and I don't want that. Um so I'm going to back up until I undo the parent. Undo parent right there. All right. So I had it right the first time, and I kind of switched it around. Boy, I'm not making life easy on you guys. Okay. So my left fingers control. Now I just simply want driver, shift, or control, select. If you're over here, control, select, and then I'm going to constrain parent. Okay, so see, it's still over here in my outliner. I, I knew something was wrong. All right, so there we go. All my wrist controls are under there. So now when I select this guy, uh, okay, we're all, can, we're all set up now. Lastly, all I need to do is set up the the uh, hierarchy of these controls because still if I select this guy here and then move it, we're we're not following along. So... What I can do is select these offset nodes, and we'll go into our hypergraph, and there they are. Okay, so should be pretty easy, right? Clavicle's at the top of our chain, and I just want the offset nodes. So this offset node under my wrist control, my wrist control offset node under my elbow control, my elbow offset node under my shoulder control, my shoulder offset node under my clavicle control. <sighs> All right, and then here we go. So this should all work. There we go. So obviously my clavicle is at the top of the chain, and well, let's show that. 
Um, we can see it here. So if I hit shift, it's going to open up an extremely long chain. Boom. There we go. So, whoops. Oh, I'm trying to zoom out of the outliner. <laughs> um, all right. So this is all set up. Let me just double check the time. I know I don't want to. I just don't want to have to clip any more movies. Um, and it's going to be just as nice to show you guys this. Okay. So here we are at the top with the clavicle offset control nodes. So if I select a control, that's the actual shape of the clavicle. When I go into here and just select it in the real in the window, it's going to go for the shape because that's what I'm selecting. Oops, don't want to move it around right now. Um, I don't know what I did there. Shit. I think I rotated a joint. Damn it. I'm gonna pause and fix this. Okay, somehow I just uh, huh, I did, it wouldn't let me undo, but I figured it out. I just uh, selected the clavicle and moved it down. Um, so I'm just gonna set that back to zero. There we go. All right, uh, just kind of moving around too fast or something. Okay, so then we select the shoulder, and the shoulder we can move in you know double direction. Elbow we have locked off to a single direction. If you try and move it in this way, it just won't move. So that's kind of handy. And the wrist, again, we have the wrist parent, so we can move the wrist around or rotate it around. And it's going to take all these bones and uh, double, triple check time. Um, and then if we select one of our fingers, uh, we can move the whole finger down. Kind of hard to see. You can see the purple one back there. Or let's say we select the well, we select the wrist, and then we select a hierarchy. This is kind of cool. We can get our wrist to fold. Get to show you that a little bit better. Make sure that's all working, and we fold into a fist. There we go. Make sure all our that would that would hurt. Uh, make sure all our controls are working, and everything looks good. So our FK is pretty much set up at this point. And uh, the next video will go run through. Um, oh, I've got my joints showing here. Select IRC, hide axis. There we go. Uh, and the next video, we will start the IK of the arm. And uh, you know, I guess you know, looking at this, you could have put some fancy arrows in there and stuff, and showing that's an elbow that only rotates around in the certain axis, but. Anyway, uh, this one's all set, and hopefully these videos make sense. I apologize about deleting that shape there at the end, but um, maybe it'll help if I show this hierarchy again for another minute. Um, so we have a clavicle offset, and then and again these SDK nodes are going to come in handy next video. Actually, next video we're going to set up uh, some custom finger controls probably. So, um, all right, and. Just trying to let you get a good view of everything in here. Well, there's the first chain. And then our second one with our fingers. Middle index. And then this is our parent constraint. And I could take the time to line this up so that the index, middle, and everything is flipped around, but I'm probably not going to do that. All right, there we go. I'll talk to you in the next video. We'll start either the SDK nodes and custom hands, or uh, we'll move off into the um, IK. We'll see. Let me set this up so that's ready to go for the next one. There we go. All right.